Another beauty from the deposits of Steinkopf and Surround in the Northern Cape of South Africa. Um, we have a quartz crystal, and I think this, this quartz crystal uh, sitting, so it's got more than one termination, interjoined quartz crystals. A um, little bit of barnacle quartz formations on the sides. And then, of course, a whole lot of abstract growths coming out the, the side of the crystal. Of course, quartz as well. Now, what I enjoy about this one, it has a little fracture on that face, which doesn't run right through. And that gives us, let me see if I can show you the rainbow effect it gives as I move it around. As the light breaks up, it gives almost a rainbow effect. From a color point of view, first of all, from a clarity point of view, you're looking at the clarity of the alpine quartzes. From a color point of view, it's a, it's a mild smoky with uh, sections of, of almost a grayishness, a greenishness, um, various. Now, the, the green uh, would be, I found on some of these specimens, I found epidote. The gray, of course, would be hematite in various stages of oxidation. The deposit of Steinkopf lies about 60 kilos north of the town of Springbok, but it's pretty close to a lot of the old copper mines, Concordia, Nubba, uh, well, not Nubba Peep, but Concordia, O'Keep, etc. Uh, so, the possibility also that we may have minor inclusions of copper in these.